And this is the book of 1 Peter, chapter 1, verse 13. Wherefore, gird up the loins of your mind, and be sober, and hope to the end for the grace that is to be brought unto you at the revelation of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. Call Allah Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Bashim Rakakadash. Shalom unto the elect and the remnant of the children of Israel. This is Providence in Babylon, Tampa Bay, Florida. My name is Brother Daniel Allah. Double honors to the teachers and the head apostles of the great millstone of will. Peace and salutations to the Akim and pushing out this work with truth and sincerity. Also, Brakata to the Aqua for our listening as well. So, what's been on my mind lately? You know, you know, you know, you know, like, uh, you no, know, 2003 being the year of the hopeful, you know, year of the prophecies coming to pass or being fulfilled. You know, times are about to get very uh, difficult, you know, for all the Akim and the Akwaf. And the entire world, you know, and what came to my mind and what's been on uh, my mind and and the main subject is is about cleansing your mind. Your mind, uh, you know, your mind, your your subconscious is so important, you know, your subconscious is it's where your eye is, you know. That's why, uh, you know, uh, the script, uh, like the scripture mentions, you know, uh, the eye, you know, like, uh, like mentioning the the pineal gland, the third eye, like if it's in light or darkness, you know. And I always heard or somebody say, you know, if you lose your mind, that's it. You can't you, you you can't lose your mind. You know. You can't lose your mind, and also, in a book in Sirach, as well, that uh, it says, "Give me any plague except the plague of the heart." You know, the plague of the heart is the worst affliction that any man can go through. I don't care how bad of a body affliction that you have or a financial affliction or you're suffering a, a, a relationship between you and your spouse, you know, or even the most crazy situation that you got yourself into or somebody else got you into, you know, it doesn't top all those things doesn't top the the plague of the heart the plague of the heart is very scary all right what's once hashatan satan has has the whole like has a hold of your mind that's it and he's going to have a field day within your mind and then you know that's a scary thing but First Peter chapter one verse thirteen says, "Wherefore gird up the loins of your mind," meaning strengthen your mind through what? Through the like through the scriptures, through Yahweh Shemal Shai, through the law, statutes, and commandments. All right, like through the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of these scriptures, man. Because we're about to enter into the most craziest, never before events. That's about to happen in these last days. And we need a sane mind. We need a stabled mind. Isaiah 33 and 6 says, And for wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. All right. The wisdom and knowledge and the understanding of these scriptures. If we do not. If we do not, uh, you know, hold the scriptures within our la'ab. In, in Pele Hebrew, which means your subconscious, your heart, you're going to completely lose yourself. You're going to lose 
everything about yourself and then you and then you're going to do things that you don't want to do you're going to do things that you never thought you would do you're going to you're going to go you're going to move in haste rather in patience because you know you didn't keep the sayings of the Lord That's why the scripture says in Isaiah 55 and 6, Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. Those aren't just words. Those aren't, you know, things that we just say through these classes. Like, we're telling you the truth when we say, Seek ye the Lord while he may be found, man. When we read, the, when, when, when we read that scripture of Isaiah 55 and 6, you know, call ye upon him while he is near. Especially if you're going through serious afflictions. You know, you have to call upon him. You have to make prayers throughout the day. You have to call a brother to get exhorted or listen to classes. You know, just sustain the spirit, man. It's going to get very difficult. It, it, it's the calm before the storm. I'm going to repeat the precept again. First Peter chapter 1, verse 13. Wherefore, gird up the loins of your mind, be sober. All right? Be alert and hope to the end of the grace, which we are in right now, the grace period, that is to be brought unto you at the revelation of Yahushai Hamashiach. All right? We have to strengthen our minds to be sober, you know, to hope to the end of the grace. So we have to hope during this grace period all the way until Yahweh comes back. That is brought, and, and it says, that is to be brought unto you at the revelation of Yahweh Hamashiach, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. So, we have we have no choice but to be patient until the Lord reveals himself in these last days until he, until his second coming his, his return Yahushai you know we had to wait on Yahushai no matter how hard it gets according to revelations uh, eight, uh chapter 8 verse 35 who shall, who shall separate you from the love of a Mashiach? And it tells you all the temptations. Shall tribulation or distress or famine or nakedness? You know, like the list goes on. It, it shows you a full list of the things that we're about to go through. And you have to have a strong mind until he comes back. That's what we're about to go through. According to Revelation chapter 8. Let's grab it real quick to make it edifying. You know? These are all the things that we're about to go through. And they show you in these movies, man. Like the movie The Road. The Book of Eli. You know? Um, like they show you in all these post-apocalyptic movies how bad it's going to be but that's just a Hollywood level imagine real life you know this is what I think about every single day so so this is the list of things that we're about to go through Revelation chapter 8 verse 30 35 who shall separate us from the love of the Mashiach shall tribulation or distress or persecution, or famine, or nakedness, or peril, or sword. As it is written, for thy sake we are killed all the day long. We are counted as sheep for the slaughter. Every day we're facing different types of trials and tribulations, you know, because this place has so many snares and nets and, a, and indoctrinations of all kinds and philosophies that you can easily fall into, you know.
There's all kinds of wicked things here on earth that you can just completely fall into, especially through social media, man. You know, verse 37, nay, in all these things, we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. And part of being a conqueror, you must have a strong mind. You know, you must have a strong mind. Verse 38, for I am persuaded. So you must be fully persuaded. All right. That neither death nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of the Most High, which is in Hamashiach Yahushai, our Lord. So all these things that we're going to witness and go through, you know, we're going to see, we're going to see uh, death, you know, we're already experiencing life in these, uh, in these uh, wretched bodies, but we're going to see angels, we're going to see principalities, so we're going to see demons in real time hopping into people, taking over people, you know, killing people, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come. So we're going to see a time like never before. And we got to ask the Lord to sustain our, 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 our minds. You know, you know, your house shot being the rock. We must remain on the rock no matter how bad it gets. Sometimes, you know, the house falls on the rock, but you still remain on the wall. Uh, um, but you still remain on the rock. And that rock is Yahweh Shai. You know, as long as you have that rock, you'll be fine. But if you build your house on, on on sand, be prepared to be swept away very soon. Be prepared to be swept away in the storm. Uh, of the great perils and tribulations and and, uh, and famine. You know, which goes into the lack of or shortage of bread. And famine of hearing the word. Be prepared for those things. It's going to be a shortage of a lot of things. Because the grandness shall cease. You know? Be prepared to lose your jobs, to lose your car, to lose your place. That's how bad it's going to be. A lot of people are about to be homeless. A lot of people are about to go crazy. And about to lose their minds, but you can't lose your minds with these people, man. These people are about to lose their minds. Your um, your your coworker, your friend from grade school or high school, you know. You're gonna see the people that you know, even in your family, they're going to lose their minds, but you can't lose your mind with them. Don't let anyone's incredulity shake your faith or shake your mind. That's why the scripture says what I brought out, gird up the loins of your mind. Be sober and hope and, 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 you know, and, and through the grace, hope to the end for the revelation of Yahusha Mashiach. You know, scriptures all and the scripture also says in Sirach, let's grab it real quick. So you can know where it's at, man. All right. Ecclesiastes Sirach chapter two, verse nine, ye that feel the Lord hope for good and for everlasting joy and mercy. Right? So ye that feel the Lord, those who feel the Lord, you have to feel the Lord. That's the beginning of wisdom. That's the beginning of all things. Wisdom is everywhere. You know, according to the book of Solomon, uh, the, the book of wisdom of Solomon, chapter seven, which is a good chapter to read to understand wisdom. All right. It says ye that feel the Lord hope for good because what we are prisoners of hope. All right. We are prisoners of hope 
and we hope what for good because we know both sides of the Lord we know that he's great at what he does and he is terrible he's a great and terrible power all right you know the Christian church be saying God is good all the time no yes we know that he is good and he's righteous but he's but the scripture also says that he is terrible as well all right he is terrible according to Deuteronomy chapter 10 verse 17 and Nehemiah 1 and 5 okay also in the New Testament Hebrews 10 31 it is a fearful thing to fall in the hands of the living God and also uh, 2nd Corinthians 5 and 11 knowing therefore the terror of the Lord we persuade men he doesn't change and his son doesn't change because they are one accord all right so ye that fear the Lord hope for good and for everlasting joy and mercy you see but the message is don't allow this world to take a hold of you and make you crazy man just just don't these people like are about to witness something that they never seen before in their life because they because they didn't take heed what the prophets have been saying so guess what out of ignorance they're gonna work through ignorance but as men of the lord we will not work through ignorance we're gonna work through what patience all right we're gonna work through patience we're gonna wait upon the lord we're gonna what hope hope for good and hope in his mercy and to stay in the spirit always all right don't allow this world to take your subconscious and and destroy it pray for that man and I also say this to myself but pray 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 that you will, you will have a, a powerful strengthened mind a, a very powerful mind that that will not be taken over by demons and and Satan and and these ignorant people out here All right especially those who don't believe the incredulity goes into unbelief all right so gird up the loins of your mind you know be sober you know hope to the end of the revelation of Yahweh Shah Mashiach because he is the true vine according to John chapter 15 and, and Yahweh being the husbandman and we are the branches I hope this class was edifying to the elect call Halal Yahweh Bashimi Al Shah Bashim Kakadash till next time I say Shalom.